Wonderful. Oh, hearts. Thanks, guys. Um, before we begin tonight, um, hello, Ray, Toby, Kerry, Zen, Pam, Claire. Hello, Michelle, Fiona. Um, okay, guys, before we start tonight, I would like to acknowledge the Durrumbul people, um, the traditional owners of the, uh, of the land I'm reading from and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Thanks, Ray, it's a great tote, isn't it? Yes, I thought I'd just do a bit of uh, advertising. Um, hola, Kerry. Hey, Anna. Okay, um, so everyone, thank you so much for joining Couplet and Thank you so much, Claire, for the invitation. I think it's really fantastic that we have uh, events like uh, Couplet at this time. Um, uh, Avid Reader have been putting on, um, this isn't an Avid plug on a, another time slot, but Avid Reader has been putting on some fantastic gigs as well. Um, I just think it's a terrific way for everyone to stay connected. Um, Hello, Pam. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, Felicity. Um, I hope you guys are all keeping safe and well, wherever you're watching from. Excuse my husky voice. I've got a bit of hay fever at the moment, so uh, you just have to um, bear with me. Uh, so I'm going to read some poems from Glass Houses tonight and also some poems that I've been working on uh, since Glass Houses came out from my yeah, poems from my next manuscript called Form and Function. Hello Zen and hello Beck. <laughs> hello Magdalena. Uh, <laughs> thanks Mary and Felicity. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll stick with the husky voice. Um, Okay, so my love of poetry started with um, I mean, a, well, a childhood friendship with Gwen Harwood. We met at church when I was a little kid and um, Gwen got me hooked on poetry. I'm really glad she did. Uh, anyway, so I'd like to start with a Gwen Harwood chento called Matrimonies. <clears throat> Their delicate armies slay the ambiguities of space. Feeling your hands before you play, trembling in warmth and dries in the agitation of the strings. It would be comforting to sing to the solid mercy of water. Grasshoppers click and whir. I am high on acid rock on wandering glitter. I feel your pulse beat through my fingertips. Look where the grass grows more intense grows luminous in distance, shaping my lips. I lie among dazzling visions, lying to the fine edge of clarity. The season for philosophy draws on. Sparrows flock to my pond. Verses flow in a never ending torrent. Death has no features of his own. Music's much more than flesh and bone. What's all this but the language of illusion? Oh, no, Claire, I hope, you're, uh, I hope your hay fever gets better soon. I'm on the, uh, it's not gin, it's lime water, which is going down a treat. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Richard. Hey, Chloe. Thank you for joining. Okay. This one is called uh, 13. Thirteen Zametti, Lines to a Rondo, Chapters in the Art of War, Cards per suit, Steps to the Gallows, Loaves in a Baker's Dozen, Diners at the Last Supper, Gods at Valhalla's Banquet, Dismemberments of Osiris, Studio LPs by The Cure, 
lunar months every calendar year, primary members of the 13 club. Olives, olive leaves, arrows and stars on the great seal of the United States. Players in a rugby league team. Teenagers starring in 13, the Broadway musical. Letters in Bixby, Oklahoma. The city where Scott Westerfeld's Midnighters trilogy, gripped by this troublous number, is set. Syllables till the broken motif of this poem. Lucky for some. Uh, we've got another one up now that sort of has, well, actually, it's got a lot to do with The Cure, which made an appearance in that last poem. Uh, this one's called uh, 1015 Saturday Night. 1015 on a Saturday night, my housemates asleep, tiger coils royal and air wet as whelps, a bitch helps. Mulder's chest hair exposes itself like clockwork. Grinder trills, bud what you're into, familiar thrill, in general, in bed. Whatever's ha ha, proving his youth. I thumb old's bruise guzzle, write, edit, cook, swim, dance, verse. Goose pimples, he sounds so fucking gay, which is nearly a rehash of the torment of high school. Orange swollen fags, not jocks, gorgeous, cool, bashing brainy fags. It's immense, the fear of gay men, the rage it creates, the sorrow to crash tonight, to burn tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to switch over to some of the post glass houses poems. So, um, these are all now from a manuscript called Form and Function. Uh, most of them experiment with you know, traditional forms, um, you know, sonnets, sestinas, um, abecedarians um, in some way. Um, hey, Jana. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, yes, Natalie, love the cure. Uh, Thank you, lovely Felicity. Uh, um, you guys are great. Okay, so um, I grew up in Hobart <clears throat> and Tasmania until 1997. Had the harshest penalty for gay sex in the Western world, which was up to 21 years in prison. Um, this poem's addressed to Doom Kennedy, who was a former Hobart Lord Mayor and um, one of the most um, incredibly homophobic politicians to ever be let on um, television. And in a, in a 98 interview on, sorry, in an 88 interview on Hinch, she was asked, do you find the idea of men having sex with men or women having sex with women quite offensive? And she replied, I do, I'm quite normal, thank goodness. And that wasn't great to watch as an 11 year old who knew he was gay, but you know, it worked its way into a poem later. Anyway, it's called In Heaven I'll Be Quite Normal or Pentina to Doom Kennedy after the Smiths. But in Tasmania, I'm diabolical, quite the opposite of normal. Faggot, poof, grim reaper. Barbarism begins at home. I thank the other kids with gory smiles. Goodness, sighs my mother, bleaching and starching shirts. Goodness, sighs the chaplain, tamping psalms into, up into my throat until I'm gulping, gaga. Thank you for opening up, though this quiet, sighs the headmaster ritually, a ways to go before. Normal is how I'll feel seven years on, sculpting misshapes. Normal. 17 years on, will compact my foundation. 
goodness, even the monster ball tour in 21 will leave me breathless. Heaven knows I'm miserable now. I'm low as all hell. So who to thank for this weakness at the knees for Jesus? Thank you, Vicar in a tutu, for passing out behind the altar a normal Sunday morning, all night spritzes at the cage. I'm renewing the vow, no goodness in high my adulthood. Quite horrifying. In 1958, Noel shot himself. His Bert got three years. Quite terrifying, I might get up to 21. So who to thank for this panic? No truth, beauty or goodness at the dead centre of Lorna Doon, quite normal, Pleasance Kennedy. In seven years, I'm going to cruise the strait, a handsome devil. I'm not quite super normal, so I'll manage my Pleasance. Thank the Lord for his goodness. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Felicity. Thank you, Zen. Thank you, Beck. Thank you, Natalie. Um, if anyone has any, I forgot to say at the beginning, if anyone has any questions as well, um, please just pop them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Uh, time for something completely different. This one's um, quite recent and full of light. And it's a golden shovel after Kate Bush and samples a couple of poems about larks. The morning fog is sweetest at the Tropic of Capricorn. The colour of lemon chiffon cake and just as light. It might begin with a ringing of hands. It might begin with a single step. It's capable of taking itself to the streets. Unblighted by African tulip trees bleed, the palms look as if they're about to begin to take flight. Vehicle steel appeals to the atmosphere. We too are aerial now. We needn't breathe momentarily. Where does it end? Where does it begin? This enlightening thing unfurling its worlds. Even to rusty furrows, it's inclined to speak. Subtleties emerge as if soaked in, what do you call it? Developer, but slower. Though we know we look before and after and pine for what is not, we alight on the eye of Horsfield's bushlark, widening to we. It's love of day and nighttime melody and mimicry. And I ask you, crave nothing, save the song and wing healed better nature as brightness wheels around the mountain now. <laughs> oh, thank you, John and Pam and Fiona and Rosanna and Kylie and Caitlin and Claire and Chloe. Chloe. Sorry, Chloe. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm going to move on to another one, another new one. Um, uh, this is called Hamlet Without the Prince and uh, samples Hamlet. Vulnerable as forest, red-tailed black cockatoos, you went south the day the stock market headed south. I consoled myself by rewatching North by Northwest, filmed partly on location in South Dakota and California, and inspiration for South by Southwest, which takes place in America's Lone Star State. The secret histories Charles Macaulay wound up washing dishes in a Texan diner, but was born in Virginia with a silver spoon in his mouth. Richard Papen returned to the Golden State and read the Jacobean dramatists. If I were a Greek god, I'd be Nautus. I am but mad north-northwest. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk from a handsaw. While at college, Elizabeth Bishop wrote about a hawk, 
but I'm more enamoured of Lama with lights from north and south, from the country to the city. My maternal grandmother, Betty, who lived and died in the same small northern town in which she was born, played bridge in a silver lame dress, always south, always partnered with north. Elizabeth Bishop sailed south to Brazil, Eiffel in north in Australia, to where the Banksian black cockatoos Cree can bring the air to a standstill. I used to be a sucker for a man with a mouth full of south and a tongue like a southern cassowary's claw. But the nickname wombat, after the hairy, after the southern hairy-nosed species, is awful. It's easy to find true north if you stop playing the forest by the cure. Okay, um, so I uh, experience migraines. I take a drug called Entrip, which sounds like Entrap for my migraines. And uh, this poem remixes some of the um, Entrip consumer medicine information and it also samples an S Express track. Kirtle Sonnet. Entrip does not contain any safe benefits. It is not approved for use in hives of agro children. Yellow tongue, nose bruising, swelling of the eyes are highly likely. The usual seizures, fevers, fits. A tall glass of Parkinson's, a psychiatrist's overactive mouth, a milder. Forget blue, yellow, brown. One size fits all. Feeling violent, heartless. Grip pharmacists' hallucinations. Swallow doctors' chests. Wilds the, vi the divided dose times three. How else can we characterize unhealing? Enjoy this trip. Enjoy this trip. And it is a trip. Reflux the highs. Okay, um, a few years ago when Glass Houses was published. Um, my friend Ben Dodds and oh, I must mention his second poetry collection, Airplane Baby Banana Blanket. It's out this year through Recent Work Press. Uh, ben and his partner Carlo gave me this whale light, uh, which is kind of a bit of a, tele well, it is a telemetic object for me. It sits on my writing desk on a stack of my favourite books. Um, I wrote about this whale for Red Room Company's poetry object competition, which for anyone who doesn't know, uh, is a competition for students and their teachers. Um, please go check out their website. Um, the poem is called Your, after the Plath poem of the same name. Your, a cardinal wing tilting sideways for a sodden spined god on an airy desk, perturbed by Neptune, a centaur. A volatile icy body pouring its hair up into picturesque churn. An unfeeling Antarctic core. Fine cartwheeling the rafts of the Coeur d'Alene. A pilgrim bottle, grotesque embellished. The mortar and pestle of moon law. The portable bar the adagio floor, the most fluid arabesque, snow crunching beyond the big wardrobe, wet stone of fastest wild boar. County Waterford's Romanesque, Pearl the Albino Raven's core, my lucky charm, an anointed rabbit paw, Apollo, miniature, Pythian, statuesque, the white of my eye, my dropping jaw, only a whale, not a metaphor. Um, I discovered on the net a couple of years ago these, I haven't found too many of them, but they're poems called binary tree poems. Um, I can't remember who 
created them the form and I forgot to check. Um, thank you, Toby and Jennifer and Pam and Claire. <laughs> wow, yes. Um, anyway, this one's simply called from Binary Tree Poems. Uh, monthly, the moon's a full blown wad of chewing gum, juicy fruit amid wriggly leaves. Monthly, the moon's a full blown wad of chewing gum, sodiumless, unlike the moon. Monthly, the moon's juicy fruit amid wriggly leaves, longer lasting. Seas are hauled ashore monthly, the moon's juicy fruit amid wriggly leaves, fingerless, limbless, trunkless. A full blown wad of chewing gum, sodiumless, unlike the moon, the fascinating artificial moon. A full blown wad of chewing gum, sodiumless, unlike the moon, is flavoured by Mars Incorporated. Longer lasting seas are hauled ashore, fingerless, limbless, trunkless. The fascinating artificial moon is flavoured by Mars Incorporated. Um, I'm loving these comments, guys. Thank you. Um, I mean, they're sorry, yes, they're very funny and very kind. Um, this next one was actually published uh, at Stilts today in issue seven. Um, so, everybody, go over and check out the latest issue of Stilts. I was reading it earlier, it's, um, it's a terrific issue, and I'm Thanks to Ella and Emily for publishing this poem um, as part of the issue. Um, this one has a rather messy backstory. It's little, um, but I was, um, my car broke down in a really spectacular fashion on the way to a singing lesson and strung up in the power lines overhead was a dead fruit bat, which I'd never seen before moving to to Queensland, but it's a sort of a common and sad sight. Anyway, this is called um, ABC Darien on Tension. Acceleration, first lesson. Don't be nervous, your vocal cords will constrict even more. Game for a duet, creased, grey sky silhouetted, taut. Electrocuted as if it were a criminal. Fruit bat, Teropus Alecto, Alecto, Fury, Guilty, Power Lines, Night Verdict, No Jury, Humankind, Invertebrate, is fated to wreck things. Just take Harwood's barn owl. Knuckle white, I grip the wheel, lurch a vehicle, machine gun fire from the hood. Now it could be a fawn's umbrella, inside outed in a snowstorm. Cloudburst. Impatiently I wait. Hazard's orange queering the bodgy bitumen. RACQ's haggard fella sneers about timing belts, tensioners, pulleys. Wolfish agriopus viscera. One of Gerion's lost wings. The main of Xanthos. A hearse strains black and yellow. I curse the mechanic who, Zeus like, strung up the Subaru. Migraine. A pain in the neck. Broom spewing at the eyes dead centre, odd digits prodding sockets, inner ears even keel. Yearly fevers no analgesic can truly cure. Half mask of numbness, you're struck dumb, tongue in cheek, slack jawed, weak at the knees, 
the air fish corner laced. Apollo rests sharply on your laurels, the hours in your lap. Medusa pulse, Medusa pulse. Me grain her, the drawn out vows nauseate you. Virginia Woolf spun too. Five times you fail to reach a salty doctor's pointer finger. One, two, five days, you're still craving quietness, quietness. Radiant wolf in a letter to Sackville West. These headaches leave one like sand, which a wave has uncovered. You fail to record vampiric sensitivity to sunlight, unfurling in a whirlpool. Cupio dissolvi, xerostomia. The doctor records letters all Greek to you. In the gods, Zeus fashions another thunderclap. Just going to check the comments. Okay, I'm up to my last poem now, everyone. Um, yeah, I might just, uh, does anyone have any questions or want to say, you know, anything before I read the, uh, the final one and um, we can go off into the night. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Zen. Thank you, Rosanna. Okay, I'm just going to have a um, sip of water. Um, this last one is um, a cento. And um, Pam, I'm not sure if you're still there, but you very kindly popped this one in the uh, end issue of Cordite that you guest edited. Um, it's a little sonnet called Tenons. You'll feel quite at home here at the earth's end, at the end of my bed, at the end of the day. At the end, words won't be an issue. Time will end and end to grey on a slope above the endless blue and end up a clinking dead end. Wit's the one weapon for my fending, bud at each flamboyant ending. I have come to the end, endless retakes, getting it right. That is all. End of message. That is the end. Um, Everyone, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you so much again, uh, Claire, for the invitation. Um, I love Couplet. It's been really great. Um, sometimes I've missed the gigs on the Thursday, but it's been great knowing that they're there uh, online to, um, to catch up with. Um, going to uh, check the comments. Adrian and Amanda, hello. So lovely to know that you're here. Thank you, Zen. Thank you, Mary and Claire. Thank you again, Claire, so much. Uh, Genevieve, thank you. Um, Shell, thanks, sweetheart. Love you so much. Thank you, Anna. I love you. Thank you, Kylie and Rose. Thank you, Pam. You asked. Thank you, Felicity. Lots of love to you. Thank you, Rosanna. Um, oh, sorry, there's just some more messages coming in. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Magdalena. Great to meet you too, Pam. Great to meet everyone in, as Pam said, virtuality and Jana, love you too. Um, take care, everyone. Lots of love. I'm going to sign off now. Uh,
Uh, bye bye. Thank you so much.